Welcome to Fortune Cookies Tarot. Nacho friend. Be right back. <music> Welcome to Fortune Cookies Tarot. We're going to be talking about nacho fujas. So I know nothing about polo. Nothing. My mother was an equestrian, not like a professional equestrian, but um, she did ride horses. And so there were polo ponies around, but um, I did not have any friends that played pol polo or anything of the sort, um, as I'm sure most of us haven't. It's just a really elitist thing. Um, you know, my, my parents were part of the yachting set, not that yachting set, but the yachting set. Um, and they, they did a lot of cool things, um, with people of uh, a certain caliber, but polo was not one of them. And um, we did have a hunt in our town that we lived in, which was really cool. You know, we would go and we would, um, you know, as friends in high school, we would, uh, have like the, um, kind of tailgating kind of thing, but it was, it was a little bit fancier. Um, and it, it was super fun. You know, it was, it was a good time, but you know, nobody really paid attention. Well, I didn't pay attention to the horses, but anyway, so, um, Nacho has befriended uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, apparently. He took a little bit of heat because <laughs> on uh, the king's unofficial birthday, Trooping of the Color, he dropped the new American Riviera Orchard raspberry, raspberry jam and dog biscuits. Not that they go together, but he dropped those on his Instagram at about one o'clock in the morning, I think his time. So it's a little bit of an unusual uh, show off. Now, the aftermath of this, apparently Megan has uh, leaked or announced through people that uh, it wasn't, there was no designated time. There was no micromanagement of when uh, the friends were supposed to announce this new product line or new products. Um, and she kind of threw them under the bus. So uh, is Nacho getting markled? Is that what's going on right now? Should he remain loyal or should he get out now? So let's take a look at it. Before we do that, I want to remind everybody, I have a digital course that's coming out in July. So I'll keep you aware of that. It's going to be my tarot course, Lynn Ramon course, a little bit of psychic courses. Um, we may have some past life stuff on there. I'm going to work on the curriculum over the summer. So I'll be adding stuff to it. We'll have some digital books on it. It's going to be really cool, but it's a great price point for you to take my class. I do have an in-person class that's 12 weeks long, um, but the price point is a bit of a commitment. I do understand that. So I wanted to create a product that was accessible for everybody. So you can take the class at your own pace. You can sit by the pool, you can do it in bed, you can read it at your kitchen table, whatever you're going to do. Maybe you could do it at work while you're on break on break. But um, I'm continuing to have my 20% off sale for the whole summer. Um, there's a link down below that you'll be able to book your own reading with me. We're one-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano, and uh, we can help you find the yellow brick road, manifest some really cool stuff in your life and have a great time and have a laugh and get to know each other. So it's super fun. I love all of my clients. I have a great time with my clients. We have a good laugh, um, even if we're talking about some intense stuff. So, you know, I try and make sure that everybody leaves the reading feeling pretty good and have having a task list of things that they can do to improve their life and, and improve their mindset. So um, PNR is on hiatus for the next couple of weeks, but we are retooling. We're going to do some neat things on that. Debbie from Tara on Pause and I have been doing some featurettes. We're going to keep up with those. Um, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be working on my channel. I, I was busy with a few other things, so I'm trying to make sure I get as much content on here as possible. And I also want to thank everybody for the super thanks that have been showing up. I'm really kind of, uh, I was very surprised to start getting super thanks. Um, I'm used to getting super stickers and super chats in my lives, but I'm starting to get super thanks. So you guys are great. Thank you so much. This is 
Um, I do this for my living full time. I left my corporate job in September for new people. I was in the insurance arena and we do call it an arena. And uh, I left my, I resigned from my job to do this full time. So um, I appreciate everyone, you know, supporting my channel and supporting my spiritual business that I have. So let's take a look and see if we can steer Nacho in the correct direction. So um, let's see here. Let's just take a look. What was going on with that product drop that he did at one o'clock in the morning? What was going on? Was that directed? Did he do that on his own? Was it a faux pas? Was it a mistake? Did his finger slip on the mouse? What was going on? Uh, that fool ooh, created some anxiety, um, but then it was successful. Okay. Magician and the king of wands. I don't think. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I don't necessarily think that he was given a directive of when and how to post that product. So this four of pentacles tells us that he kind of just freestyled. He just kind of did it that way. And the fool echoes that. I think initially he went, oh no, but then he got over it. So <laughs> this is a famous thing that my mother said. You know how you say something and you just go, oh, I shouldn't have said that. It was really horrible. Well, I got over it. My mother said that to Greg and I once. It was hilarious. So I, I think he, you know, realized the folly of dropping it that day and then was like, oh, well, got over it. Um, you know, ultimately, did the message get out? Yes, I think, you know, it was totally fine. Here, this becomes very positive. The moment of... Ooh, yikes, crisis is here when he first did it. I think maybe he launched it and then he went, oh no, it's Trooping of the Color. I shouldn't have done that. But 675 people have already seen it. I, I think there may have been a moment of that. Somebody may have screenshot it and he said, well, I'm just going to run with it. You know, I, I did it. No problem. Up here, willing to stick with that, willing to take the heat for it. So I think that's fine. Now, the whole business of the announcement through mutual friends of his and Megan or people that worked over at ARO uh, was, well, you know, no one was given a directive. No one was told when to drop it. Is there any fallout from that? Is that was that shade? Are we seeing the beginnings of marketing? If you don't know what marketing it is, you got to look it up. Two of Swords. Queen of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups. Oh my. Well, this is a very back and forth kind of energy. Um, some distance, perhaps. Uh, but oh, what can I use you for, baby doll? What can I use you for? So this was like, well, let's see how it shakes out. In the end, disappointed for a hot minute, it was a bad look, but then we kind of shake it off. We do kind of shake it off here. Moving forward, do we have this kind of relationship in the future? I don't think so. I think there's a little bit of a, a, a flavor to the friendship now. Here are Queen of Swords. There's distance. This is, you know, if, if any of our court cards are, are markling, it's this lady right here. She's going, yeah, I'm cutting you off. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to have you in my vision. I'm not going to have you in my future, but I'm still going to be really sweet. Behind the scenes, possibly doing all she can to kind of disrupt that friendship. Oh, we're just really busy. We're not going to be around. Um, she may bring friends to Polo for next season and just be preoccupied or otherwise occupied. Um, not Probably not going to be as cozy with him. Um, were there some, you know, some people questioned the dynamic between her and Nacho. Was there some kind of romantic situation going on? Uh, no, no, I think he, you know, he does have that machismo about him. Um, he is a super good looking dude. You know, I, I not my type, but you know, I, I think maybe, there was some posturing of his that maybe had been seen as uh, overstepping some bounds, but uh, boundaries. I don't think so. I don't think there's anything between them. So, you know, there's no swapping or anything like that. I'm, I'm just going to put it out there, guys. It's I, I just don't think it's like that. Um, 
So what should Nacho do? What should Nacho do? Now, I don't know how many of us knew his name. My nose is itchy. Am I getting it? Bite. Um, none of us really knew who he was prior to uh, this Netflix polo series that they're going to do and the uh, the glad handing that we saw with Harry. So what should Nacho do now to preserve his peace, his professional life, and his personal life? What should he do in regard to Meghan and Harry? What should he do? What a cute dog, too. I, there was all kinds of people saying, like, there was, like, shade being thrown because there was, like, skinny white dog and, you know, dog. But everyone was looking up the, you know, Urban Dictionary stuff. I, I, I'm going to leave the dog. I'm going to let the dog be a dog. Roast chicken's already ruined for me. I'm looking at you, Alicia Wicker. So, <laughs> um, he's going to stay friends with them. In order for him to preserve his professional, personal peace, we're friends. Um, but we set new foundations, new boundaries, new guardrails, if you will, new guardrails to the friendship. Um, here, some industry. Let's see what that's all about. Possibly doing something together. Now, I know that Nacho's wife has a lifestyle brand, but I believe she only works with um, tableware, which I think is great. Aim small, miss small. Um, but this looks like possibly talking. Remember, we've got the page in the ace where we're trying to do something different. We're putting up, putting our money where our mouth is and getting some really cool ideas here. Still dreaming and crafting. We've got the idea that maybe we're going to link these businesses up, but it's going a little bit slow. I think there's a little bit of push on one side of it. There's, there's one individual who is trying to take dominion over the project. So um, this... Uh, shockingly enough, I think they're going to partner. I think they're going to partner. So we get the dominant energy here. It's tight under wraps. We're not going to talk about it. Under the surface, again, this echoes that we've got some conflict. We're not sure who's going to be the boss, who's going to be in the kitchen, who's going to be the chef, who's going to be the sous chef. We don't know what's going on there. Who's rolling those dog biscuits? Who's rolling them? Who's making the jam? So this, I, I'm very surprised. I thought the cards were going to tell Nacho to cut and run and get out of this relationship and not get markled and not have the stain of this whole drama with the uh, the Sussexes on, Sussexes on him. That is so hard to say, Sussexes. It's so hard to say. But I really thought it was going to say run, Nacho, run. But it does not say run, Nacho, not run. It says Nacho, hang out. We're going to keep talking about the collaboration that we're going to do. Speaking of collaborations, make sure that you go over and subscribe to Psychic News Report, the collaborative channel I have with Rob Akampura and Rick Paul, uh, the psychic waistcoat medium, spiritual gangster, good friend of mine who is at Stonehenge right now as we speak, having a great time and getting some super psychic downloads. He's going to come back with tales for us that are going to be amazing. So um, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that this channel can continue to grow as well. I will see you all soon. Have an awesome, awesome day.